We present DR SPAN, a spatial attention and autoregressive model for person detection in 2D range data. 2D LIDARs are common sensors for mobile robots. They provide accurate distance measurements with long sensing range and have a large field of view typically greater than 200 degrees. Furthermore, unlike cameras, they are not privacy intrusive. These advantages make some appealing sensor choices for many robotic tasks, including person detection. However, the range measurements obtained from 2D LiDARs are sparse and have low information content. The sparsity makes person detection very challenging, as can be seen in this LiDAR scan on the bottom right. Early developments in the field use classifiers in combination with handcrafted features. There are two groups of approaches, one detects persons directly, the other detects legs and uses heuristics to group them into persons. These early approaches typically only work well with simple scenarios. Current state-of-the-art approach is a Joe 3 detector proposed by Bayer et al. in 2018. Rather than using handcrafted features, it uses deep learning to detect persons in 2D range data. Our work, DR Span, is based upon Joe 3 and achieves a new state of the art while having more than twice the inference speed. Here's the architecture of the Joe 3 detector. The input to the network is a scan expressed as n range measurements. For each scan point, the Joe 3 detector first computes an opening angle and uses linear interpolation to pull its neighboring points within the angle into a cutout with fixed length L. The angles are computed such that the cutouts correspond to a fixed size opening in Euclidean space. Then, all the cutouts are forwarded through a neural network composed of 1D convolution. The network classifies each cutout as a person or background and regresses the center location of the person. To alleviate the problem caused by sparse measurements, Joe 3 fuses past five scans to obtain a stronger signal. Here, for illustration purposes, only two scans are shown. Due to the LiDAR eagle motion, there is misalignment between these scans, which has to be corrected before the scans can be fused. This backward feature fusion is expensive because each realigned scan has to be forwarded again through the network for feature extraction. We propose to replace the backward feature fusion with a spatial attention and autoregressive model which accumulates the temporal information forward through time. The SPAN module associates features using learned similarity, removing the need of aligning scans and redundant forward passing. The new person detector, which we call DR SPAN, achieves a new state-of-the-art result while being much faster than the multi-scan Joe 3. Here is what the SPAN module looks like. Given a new scan for each point, we compute pairwise similarities between its new feature and all the previous features. This computation is restricted to neighboring points. The previous features of neighboring points are then softly combined using similarities as weights. Therefore, features from similar points are selected, solving the association problem implicitly. This previous feature is used with a new feature and passed into the later stage of the network. Furthermore, to incorporate temporal information over more than two scans, we use a feature memory rather than the features from the previous scan, and update this memory recursively using an autoregressive model. Thus, temporal information from all previous scans are integrated forward through time in this setup. To evaluate our DR spam detector, we conduct experiments on the Joe dataset, which is collected using a 2D LiDAR mounted at 37 cm height in indoor environments. It contains more than 24,000 annotated scans and 28,000 annotated person instances. Following convention, we report average position, peak F1 score, and equal error rate. A detection is considered positive if there is a ground truth annotation within a half meter radius, and a ground truth annotation can only be matched with a single detection. The numbers show that DR span outperforms the previous state of the art method even without using odometry information. 
Here we show some qualitative results. We can see that DR spam detects persons robustly even at far distance or in crowded scenarios. To evaluate the contribution of the proposed spam module, we conduct ablation studies by either removing spatial attention or autoregression. For baseline comparison, we retrain Joe's three networks using the same pre-processing parameters. The multi-scan Joe's three all performs the single scan version, showing the effect of incorporating temporal information. Without correcting the misalignment, however, combining scans will decrease the detection performance. Using the spatial attention for alignment outperforms the multi-scan baselines, highlighting the benefit of using a learned feature association module. The best results are obtained by combining the large temporal window of the autoregressive model with the alignment of the spatial attention. We measure the end-to-end -end inference time of different networks on a laptop with a dedicated GPU and on an NVIDIA Jetson AGX with an embedded GPU. The results show that the DR span is more than twice faster than the multi-scan JO3. The proposed span module has very little computational overhead on top of the single scan detector. Even on an embedded GPU, DR span runs at more than 22 Hz well suited for robotic applications. To reduce computation, it is often desired to run a detector at a lower rate compared to the data acquisition rate of the sensor. This reduced sampling rate will increase interframe displacement and in turn impact the detector performance. In this experiment, we take pre-trained detectors and evaluate their performance on the Joe test set with temporarily subsampled scan sequences. The result shows that DR span is very robust against reduced sampling rate, thanks to its learned feature association. Therefore, it is very easy to deploy a pre-trained DR span on LiDARs with different sampling rate or running network inference at a lower rate if the computation resource is limited. Associations obtained from the span module could serve as an additional cue for tracking. In this video, we are displaying the association histories for each detection. The trajectories of the moving persons are clearly visible from these associations. DR spam generalizes well to different LiDAR models or environments. Within the EU project CrowdBot, we have deployed DR spam on multiple platforms with different sensor configurations without requiring retraining or fine tuning. Here's a video showing DR spam running on the augmented PEPPA robot from ETH. The robot uses a different LiDAR from the Joe dataset, and we did not fine tune the network. The robot is situated in a semi crowded environment. Each grid cell in this visualization has a side length of 1 meter. We see that the pre trained DR spam generalizes well to another sensor configuration and detects people with few false positives, even in this challenging scenario. In conclusion, we propose DR spam a person detector for 2D range data. It establishes a new state-of-the-art result, achieving 70.3 AP on the Joe dataset. It has a high inference rate, measured at 87.2 Hz on a laptop with a dedicated GPU, or at 22.6 Hz on an NVIDIA Jetson AGX with an embedded GPU. DR span is well suited for robotic applications. Please check out the link below for our PyTorch implementation, including an example ROS node. The link also contains some post-submission updates, further improving the detection performance and the inference speed than shown in this video. Thank you for watching.